Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. I'm Jessica Torres. Um, today, we're starting our day pretty late. The vlog pretty late actually. We've been up pretty early, but um, I'm starting to vlog now is what I'm trying to say. That's why she screamed, not really. Um, it's 3 p.m. We're heading over to Plus Brooklyn. Plus Brooklyn is a small boutique that sells plus size um, clothes uh, from different brands. And they also sell like vintage pieces that they can find here and there. And I tend to sell my clothes there um, so that people can go and find plus size clothing. Anyways. And so right now I'm going to drop off some clothes. I don't think I'm able to walk in and like check around and show you guys the place but i'll link the original video where when i discover that place um i'll link it down below for you guys and yeah this is the beginning of the vlog hello guys just finished dropping off the things over there and found the cutest little coffee shop that as you guys clearly just saw <gasps> oh my god look at the grays are popping out here we kind of missed a few grays so we're gonna dye my hair tonight if we have some time um don't pull it what's the myth ow oh, sorry sorry what's the myth if you like pull it like every single time you pull out a gray two more come out hold on let's see if we can pull it no don't pull it ow and that one feels like it's connected to the other side of my brain that one is so painful. Ow! You do you see how you're pulling my fucking skull? Ow! You're so evil. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Let's go. Also, I don't. I didn't go into that coffee shop, but anybody who pays four dollars for a cortado is not right in the head. Never pay for something for a cortado. A I mean, obviously, escúchame, un cortadito cubano should be no more than one, maybe two dollars, if you're sharing with some friends. Okay, so don't let it, don't let anybody fool you. Um, yeah, welcome to New York, baby. <laughs> Everything's overpriced, baby. All right, let's go. Home. to stop by sweet green so i can pick up some salad um with everyone's birthdays going on i feel like we haven't had a proper meal in a while so we're gonna pick up a nice salad with some good veggies to like get some good nutrients in our body 
and I love sweet green you guys and I really love doing the chicken black chicken thigh salad that to me is delicious and I add like my own little things I always do my own salad but today I'm doing the what was it what was it called it was like a chimichurri chicken yeah. with sweet potatoes and cilantro and cauliflower and stuff like that so, did I say that right cauliflower because apparently there's certain words I can't say. I mean, I've known this. I've known this since I was a little kid. There's always been words as the person who doesn't speak English. Your order is being prepared. Okay, perfect. Um, that doesn't speak English as their first language. There's certain words that just like, I always forget how to pronounce right. For example, I can't pronounce um, the word murder more than two or three times. Because then my R just got stuck like this. Murder, 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 murder. murder, murder, murder. And then it just got stuck. I can't say murder more than three times. Um, apparently I can't pronounce the name of the Angelina Jolie movie, that Disney movie, what's it called? You know um, Magnificent, or whatever it's called, Magnificent, whatever it is, Magnificent, Maleficent. She's literally laughing at me because I can never pronounce that. The other word is, what was the other word I can't pronounce? The one you're sad. Oh, um, Melancholy? That one you're saying, right? Yeah? yeah? Okay. I thought it was a Melancholy. Melanco melancholy. Melancholy. In Espanol es melancolía, ¿verdad? So my brain wants to go to a melancholy. Yeah. So <laughs> it gets a little hard. What words do you guys, if you do not speak English as your first language, what words are hard for you to, uh, to wow. say in English? Yeah, this guy looks so cool. All right, let's go get the salad. Oh, wait, we have to wait until 4. 15 or 20 minutes. 15 minutes. Um, it's been seven minutes later, and the food is here. They didn't take long. That was really, really good. We did have to order through the app. They're so good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She scared the shit out of me. Apparently, Caribbean King is really, really good. And my girlfriend wants me to put y'all on. So good. So then why didn't you ever tell me about it before we could have been eating Caribbean King? Well, because they don't have enough veggies. And second of all, we're Yeah, we did come, for, we did come for a salad. Yeah. Apparently, we're going to be vegetarian now. Allegedly. And also, I've only seen it once before when I was working in downtown Brooklyn. Mm. And you had it that one time and it was really good? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, anyways, you guys, the reason why we're telling you about Plus Brooklyn is because if you guys want to shop um, Plus Brooklyn, this is the time to go because they are stocked up with my clothes. So go check them out. I'll leave the address here below. I'm sorry. I know that a lot of you guys are going to be like, when can you do it on your Poshmark or whatever um, or online so that you guys can buy? But I don't feel like I have the mental capabilities to be shipping things out for y'all. So it's just easier for me to just send it over to Plus Brooklyn and I get to help her in her business. Well, um, what are you selling? Or what did you give her? I got her. I sent her a whole bunch of um, dresses and jumpsuits and some activewear. So just go check. And then I, this is like I think the second or third time I sent her stuff. The first two drops I believe were a lot more heavier so i had a lot more clothes had a lot of dresses a lot of jumpsuits a lot of summer stuff a lot of great brand new stuff with tags in it so Did go check them out no some of them i didn't even wear so go check them out you guys i heart annie fart or i i fart annie <laughs> we
I know that you guys see us out, but we're literally going out here and there when we need it. And we're going out with our masks and all that kind of thing. But if you can, do not go out. We're still in a pandemic. There's literally no reason for you to go out right now. I'm fun. literally in the middle of the area where I live by. And there's people shopping for sneakers and dresses. And it's like, we're in a pandemic. Don't let the government fool you. Don't let the government fool you. It is not safe to be out anymore. Still. So, please be very careful. Gotten home and I just wanted to share my little salad. It has cauliflower, like I told you guys, uh, sweet potatoes, chicken, avocado. I added the avocado, made it a little bit more expensive. Chimichurri sauce, feta cheese, some carrots I see there. I'm gonna try it, but this is for all my Puerto Ricans. I went to Puerto Rico a few years ago and I had this at a restaurant, the Borin Thai Pique Gourmet sauce. Oh my god, how I love this with all my heart. My friend um, is a flight attendant and he went to Puerto Rico. He made a stop in Puerto Rico. And for my birthday, he got me every single sauce that they had at the store. So I'm right now eating the piña one. I have the avocado, I have the tamarindo, and some other flavors. So I just want to shout out my Puerto Ricans for creating this. And if you guys know where I can get this here in New York, please let me know or at least in the united states i'll buy and i'll pay for shipping like it's that good i'm putting you on if y'all don't know about this i'm putting you on to something amazing my family has been sending me gifts ever since my birthday a few of the things have been delayed due to covid and i just got um the first package from my mom yesterday which was um a, a set of spoons and forks and you know that kind of stuff but she sent us some things here. Hold on, let me show you. Wow. Oh, she came to my house and she saw that I barely had any pots. So she set me in with some nice little pots. Thank you, mamita. That's, That's nice. So my girlfriend is cleaning the- Your what? My, <laughs> so my, my girlfriend. <laughs> so my girlfriend is cleaning the- um, fridge before we do groceries to know what we have to buy and she's a little coke and she's like oh i'm gonna have the coke i didn't know we had these <laughs> and now she <laughs> also got her done. nails done um and she's been a lesbian for many years so she really has never had long nails <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't know how to open it what are you doing why are you holding it like that <laughs> i've never seen anyone open that like fingers. a savage <laughs> Ooh, that was really hard no, you go like that from the side. That, I don't know how to use the side of my fingers. Or I your thumb. Know this. Crazy. Next time I'll use my teeth. <laughs> I really enjoy that Manolo's favorite thing to do is when someone's bending down is to just like lay on the back of their knees. I think it's so cute. Why do you like doing that, mister? Is it so much fun for you? It's a nice and cozy. Yes, cutie. We already had breakfast i forgot to show you guys but i made a delicious avocado toast here's a quick little recipe avocado chili flakes uh feta cheese and tahine and then tajines and then um a an egg however you want it anyways that was breakfast now we're gonna go to the chiropractor we have our weekly appointment trying to you know get our backs and our bodies right <laughs> um i'm waiting for him to like crack me like i'm a bag of popcorn like i'm ready to sound like <laughs> that usually never happens so i never record the session i'll try and record if i remember but those sessions are tend to be pretty quick i'm like in and out so there's usually nothing much to show but today i am going to work i'm actually gonna dress up today for the first time i'm gonna do my makeup i'm gonna get, try and look cute and pretty do my nails and i'll bring you along for the ride welcome to today's vlog Something that I just realized that I like to do before I go to the chiropractor, and this is something that you told me that I need to do, but I mentally and emotionally have to do it because it's one of my biggest fears. Um, if you guys have seen this chiropractor videos, you see how people tend to be twisted, and he hasn't done that to me, where he like twists them, puts them like a pretzel, and then cracks their back. That hasn't happened to me. My my back trauma is different, so it needs to be done separately, slowly, and little by little. Um, but I'm afraid that the one day that I don't poop before I go to him, he's going to make me poop my pants. So I always make sure to take the biggest shit of my life <laughs> before I go to him. I don't know why I share that. Why was the point of that? I also wanted to talk about my chiropractor experience today. 
Um, so as I warned you guys, I always like to take a poopy before I go to the chiropractor because I'm afraid that the one time that I don't use the bathroom before I go to see him, he's going to like push me, bend me some way. And then, you know, we won't have any control of our bowels. So I predicted it happened. I did it to myself, but he pushed me quite hard. He was like just pushing down on me and I was, I was crowning is all I can say. <laughs> But I, then I, after that, he went to the other room to work on my girlfriend, and I went to the bathroom, and, you know, we were all nice and safe, so. We're back home. Oh, are you filming this? Yeah. We're back home, and um, my girlfriend is making us little sandwiches, you guys. And she has this little salad tosser. Or what's, what is this called? I'm going to toss you salad. Stop. Uh, it's a salad tosser. Salad spinner, so you kind of dry off the the veg vegetables that you're washing, don't, that you washed. Vegetables. That's baby. Um, and yeah, it's just really cool as you move in with someone that you see the weird things they bought. <laughs> don't give me that face. Oh my god, I'm so stinky. I can smell myself in my armpits. All right, the sandwich is done. We got some little veggie sticks too. Some water. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy. Okay, I'm definitely starting my day a little bit more delayed. I made breakfast and then came to relax. <laughs> I just feel like the past few days have been a little tough mentally and emotionally to like just get up and do things. I don't know why, um, but I do want to share the outfit that I was gonna wear yesterday. It started raining and then I was in, I hated my makeup. Um, I feel like not wearing makeup for um, due to quarantine for such a long time has made me see myself in a different way. Like I appreciate my face a lot better. I do see the nice things that people will say about my skin that I never noticed before. Um, so I think that's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time because now I'm like, ugh, I don't remember how to do certain makeup techniques. I have, I'm out of practice. But I want to try and find the balance between um, doing like a full face of makeup and like being natural or bare or as minimum as possible anyways just want to update you guys on what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my hair and makeup right now and get dressed and then i'll show you guys my outfit and then i'm gonna head out to shoot the outfit real quick because when it's really cute and i want to post it on instagram because i haven't posted in such a long time and also because um the company requested me to do it they're paying me obviously to do this so uh yeah i'm excited and i love when i get to work with a brand that i actually like and i love working with small indie brands it's just my favorite thing to do my makeup is done and i definitely went for a more natural glam i went with um sephora's uh cc concealer as foundation blush concealer here eyebrow gel fake lashes because i don't really have mascara at the moment I need to buy some lip liner um, and then bronzer around the face to kind of warm up my face a little bit. That's it. I'm going to go in the shower and go shower. I know that for some people this is really weird that I do my makeup first. I mean, I wake up in the morning, wash my face, brush my teeth, and I do breakfast and clean the house a little bit, clean the kitchen, and then I do my makeup and then I shower. Anyways, I know this is weird, but it's kind of my routine. And I think I used to do this. I picked this up like years ago when I used to work at um, Revelous or Macy's. I can't recall because it would take me much longer to do my makeup than anything else. So I just want to get that out of the way. So I know that by the time I was out, I already had a face on. Anyways, just want to update you guys. I think the next scene you guys will see is me getting dressed uh, or dressed. And then probably we're going to try and go to the park, take my to the park for a little minute. And then... Um, some cute little photos all right guys so i got these flat white sneakers from amazon because i wanted to wear with like cute little dresses which i'll show you guys in my outfit but i just want to do some boxing i also guys i also got a nice little gift from my friend liesel um i just wanted to open it up it was just these two packages i thought i had more packages but i've been opening them as they get here so oh yeah i'll do that one in a minute too okay so here it is i managed to open it it's oh my god they're little cow print earrings thank you so much Lisa. okay let me let me open it up properly 
So she knows that I've been obsessed with cow print for a minute. If I can make everything in my house cow print and wardrobe, I would. Um, she got me these cute little hoop, heart hoops. This is so pretty. Thank you so much, Lisa. All right, so I finally am dressed and ready to go take a cute little photo for the gram. Um, this is the outfit for today. The sneakers are from Amazon. The purse is from Mod Cloth, and this dress is from Tuesday Basson, who is a indie designer in Los Angeles. Um, she sent over this dress for me. Uh, I gave her my measurements and everything. And something really cool about this dress is that it also has pockets. Look at that. Pockets. Anyways, I like wearing loose um, slip dresses like this one just because it's easy for me not to wear a bra. And, you know, when it's hot, I literally don't want anything against me. And because it's illegal to be naked, I like to wear slip dresses that just kind of like, you know, barely touch my body. And when I have the information down below, if you guys are interested in the links and everything that I have on, um, yeah, I'm going to go take some photos. The other package I wanted to share was this 11 Honorary um, box that I received. Um, this is Jessica. And look at the back. It has the cutest little personalized um, wax, wax thingy. I forgot what it's called, but it's so cute. Open that in a minute. And then in here, I don't know what this is. Hand sanitizer, of course. And then they sent me, oh, it's in a fancy bag. For those of you who are not familiar with 11 Honoré, they are a plus size, um, all-inclusive brand that they try to do like high-end stuff, pretty much high-end stuff. Um, I was at their runway show when they had Laverne Cox and it was really, really fun. Um, I'm gonna open this up, let me see. It's like it comes, it comes in like a big garment as you guys can see. Okay, so I came to the bedroom to show you guys in better lighting and also to be able to hang it. It's wrinkly, obviously, because it was in the garment box, in the garment bag, and in the box for a minute. It's 11 on array, and the size that they sent me is a size 26. I usually go as big as they can go for high-end brands because they tend to run small. I think. So I'm gonna try this on for you guys real quick to see how it fits. Okay, so I have the dress on, and again, it's a size 26, it's 11 honorary. Has this like, um, what would you call this? This little cosido section right here that kind of goes from under the boob to the other side to reveal this really sexy slit. This is the dress overall. I really think it's pretty, I actually like it. It fits quite well. Um, I don't really have much complaints about this dress. It's really, really pretty. I really wanna, I really wanna dress it up a little bit and see how I'm gonna, you know, style it. Should I do a video of different ways to style this? Maybe casual, dressy date night. I don't know. This is really pretty. I actually like it. Fix this right there. Yeah. What do you guys think? This is literally my view right now. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> 